eight bucks a month? Yeah. I mean, for the see some tweets for a blue check because it's not even a verification anymore like i'm not paying for that so then it's just like oh a little bit of badge that you can pay for the subscription service well there may be there may be other benefits to it that are going to be completely diminished by the complete uh, like it's it's basically saying like you're going to get the luxury stay at the hotel as we also dismantle the plumbing <laughs> so yeah, and yeah. The pools on it. yes right. so, you can't wait to see like once you become a blue check member you're going to get the really plush bathrobe. Now, of course, uh, you're going to have to scoop your crap out of the toilet because our plumbing doesn't work anymore. <laughs> but uh, believe me, that bathrobe is going to be lovely. And but there's NFTs now. Here is um, what's happening, apparently, at Twitter. Talk to us, because I know that you've been talking to a lot of folks um, employed by Twitter. What are they telling you? What does the separation also look like, the details of that? Sure. Uh, so the most important thing that Twitter employees want to stress is that the company is a nightmare right now. Yeah. And it, you cannot work there. And the website is built on sticks, and it might fall apart. So how is it cards? <laughs> um, if it falls apart by Tuesday, we're in trouble in terms of getting election information out there. The other thing they're warning to me about, oh. by the way, to regular people, like, yeah. you know, this is the thing. These people have lost their jobs, and this is what they're worried about right now. On Tuesday, uh, on, mon on Monday, let's start on Monday. On Monday, anybody can maybe buy a verification badge, right? Ver verify $8. Checkers, right. Yeah. You could go and pose as anybody, an election official, a uh, public figure, whatever. And there's they've cut the moderation staff so severely that there's no way they're going to catch up in time to these lies. Wow. So using Twitter as a trustworthy source of information on Tuesday is going to be a nightmare. That's what people inside of Twitter or people who just got laid off, some people who are still there are warning about because they go and talk to Elon, who is deeply out of his depth, objectively. And they don't know what's going to happen next week during the United States elections. So who is the person, what is the entity that helps identify that Twitter will no longer be a viable source that we have looked to for, for so long going forward? Because we are in the age of misinformation. I mean, the timing could not be worse for all this stuff. The entity is us. We're gonna yeah. learn the hard way on Tuesday if, if he does this by Monday. And he wants to, he, he, says, he says he wants to ship this product by Monday. Uh, this is a way to get $8 out of lots of users. Um, we're going to see what happens. I, I'm, I don't mean to sound the alarm quite so severely here, but this could be really bad. Let me just add, add this, is that, like, obviously, there's not going to be someone else out there who has your Twitter handle. That's not going to happen. Your Twitter handle's already taken. But what may happen is, you know, like, if if you haven't been following somebody somebody new to the scene may appear to be somebody who they're not or That's if you're you somebody who does not have a twitter handle and you're not on that social media space somebody can buy a verification badge or just pose as you without consequence yeah the, in the past that was not the case and like i mean to me it's just elon musk going in there and and firing everybody it's it's like a 15-year-old a saw a CEO on television and was like, this is how I'm going to play. I'm going to be authoritative and trim the fat. And him kind of doling out these verification badges for $8 a pop or whatever, if this ends up getting implemented, it's like giving out blue ribbons and saying, you can all be a part of uh, my, uh, my little club. And it has the trappings of populism, but it's really just like this empty kind of like late stage capitalist dance where he's this reddit bro with 12 different layers of irony executing the powers of ceo and pretending like it's being disseminated to people more broadly in and that it's this free speech utopia but i literally just saw kanye west tweeted the n-word and that got taken down so i guess this isn't the free speech you know uh utopia that you describe because there are limits to things and he's going to learn the hard way but he's going to burn it down well, kanye, first. kanye west i mean only because he's so high profile but you know someone here's here's the real here's the real point that if this goes through on monday in the way that they're talking about even if the 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 site doesn't crash franklin delano disco writes looking forward to 30 dave wasserman accounts on tuesday saying i've seen enough <laughs> so dave wasserman is a 
um, is a like a, a prognosticator, but a data guy. I, I follow Dave Wasserman. I could not tell you right now what his handle is whatsoever. It's at redistrict. Yes. Okay. At redistrict. In a million years, I would have never known that. <laughs> if multiple Dave Wasserman show up and are retweeted and say, I've seen enough. That's his catchphrase when he's basically saying like the numbers, you know, bear out because of like, it's coming from this county and that county. That is what will destroy Twitter at least as a tool to get news that's what we'll do it right there is that like if i go and retweet and i i generally don't retweet uh, uh, people but if i go and retweet the wrong dave wasserman it's done i'm done i'm done i'm getting burned and i realize there's no way for me to assess who the real Dave Wasserman is, this just could be, you know, uh, you know, libs of TikTok sitting in her basement, you know, uh, coming out there because uh, she's gotten funded to buy a hundred of these different things. And it is going to immediately lose all of its news value. It's already and it's always already been a little bit sketchy because mm -hmm. people will go out and you got to learn who to trust in this instance and the blue check verification at least gave you a sense of like okay this person actually does work at this place it is that person and then you can assess over time like i don't find them credible i you know yeah it, but in moments like this this is where all of a sudden like it could happen literally within days where the news people leave now there are people who have created in you know communities on there and they have their friends and this and that and it'll still work in that way it'll still work in the way that like friendster did and you know the number of people who use it for at least political news is actually really small it doesn't feel that way to us because that's like i have two types of people i follow for the most part political people or comedians and uh once i get outside and then it's like you know like old pictures of boston you know like, yeah no i mean but like, i am relying on it as a news source so i am concerned and oh, like yeah, i no. mean and and um like i i'm i do think that if that goes away there's i'm sure something else will emerge but at the same time like i it's gonna it is going to cause chaos um i also think like we have such a we've naturalized the point where like a guy with just because he has lots of lots of money mm -hmm. and a relationship with bankers can get, own a major uh communications network just because he has to and then boot out the people who have been working on it and investing their time in making twitter good and then kick them out and we have an entire political class of people not just like the right wingers who are like yeah fire them all but like business classes who are like oh yeah this is pretty smart this is how you make a company lean well it's, it's their, psychotic it's their it's their fantasy because it's like a private bill it's private billions going into like this already established entity and then he can make play it, with into, it like a toy. and play with it right i mean it's the same thing with like that whatever 17 billion dollar like virtual reality project that zuckerberg's undergoing just because it's like something that's going to satiate his own ego and then these people just want to play god and play with the rest of us and see how things work and like twitter hat was as you say like there was a real unreliability to it and a tenuousness to it but i think that's markedly improved in the past two years when there was some form of content moderation like when they started booting people off the platform like trump it started there and getting serious about that kind of stuff then it actually did become i think a much better place well, for that kind of thing and then we're going to see it jerked in the opposite direction because uh you know edgelord reddit uh billionaire wants to to like get his rocks off by playing with the the, the millions of hundreds of millions of users on the platform i think part of it is also you know users adjust and understand like this is the parameters in which you can trust and these are the parameters you can't and, and users adjust to that but this is going to upend it so much and also screw up uh, as an objective standard the the user experience so much that it all of the it's like it's like suddenly using the play button to mean, you know, share. 
You know, like all yeah. those of you just to sh switch the icons in a way that is completely different. It's really going to mess things up. But I will also say, like, I the the idea that you know the problem is Elon Musk wants to play God. I, I that to me is is a second order problem because you know a lot of people want to play God. I I wouldn't mind playing God. The problem is that we have a system where if you accumulate this much money, you can actually do it. That's the problem. The, the, the human ego and desire for that kind of power and will over people, I believe, is sort of baked into uh, humanity. I, I personally believe that you can't get rid of that. Yeah, that was you need your to, critique was a given in what I was saying. I yes, mean, that this but, you, the system. but but yeah, but we the, the real problem is and if people like this is going to be a perfect example of why billionaires should not billionaires, the, the ability to amass this type of fortune should be outlawed by society. This is a perfect example of it because it's giving individuals and frankly, a group of individuals, because it's really not just Elon Musk. He's got big Saudi money in this. He's got probably big Chinese money in this. I mean, so there's like, and they just come to an agreement. Elon just cares about, you know, I want this, this is my silo in China. The Chinese investors say this is our silo and this is, and, and they come to an agreement, a small cabal of, 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 of interests. And then they can control this huge sphere. And, you know, there's really two ways in which you deal with this in my mind. One is you make it impossible for individuals to amass this type of fortune. And the other is you impose antitrust regimes that if something gets this big and this important to society, you can do one of two things. You can chop it down to size and say, we just don't allow stuff to get that important or big in society. Or you can regulate it in such a way that even its ownership is distributed in a way that distributes the power. Like, you know, it's like not inconceivable to me that you couldn't use antitrust to fashion the ownership where workers retain, yeah. you know, X number of shares in the company. I mean, they and, do that in Europe. So, <laughs> I mean, it's it's we're just making a political choice, folks, that allows for this stuff. That's that's the bottom line. People but, have to understand that. Yeah. So, I mean, we'll see. I, I'm, I if he I, I've been kind of like skeptical that he can actually get some of these things he wants to do off the ground right away. But I've noticed an immediate difference and in, in people saw it, tracking the amount of racial slurs that have oh, been yeah. allowed. Like he can probably very, very clumsily roll out this verification system before the election. I, and it's going to ruin everything I think with like the, the way we're going to get news on Tuesday. <laughs> yeah. And I think that's so. the bigger danger, you know, broadly speaking, because you can keep muting all these, uh, you know, these people. I mean, who knows how other people receive them. But kid tested Paul Bureau approved says time for me to buy 20 Dave Rubin, Jimmy Dore and Steve even Crowder accounts challenging Sam to a debate. I mean, um, I, I know that's what I'm going to do over over the next couple of days is um, create a bunch of accounts so that I can get in on sit this. on some handles. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Ben Shapiro with the zero. I mean, well, now that's done, isn't it? Thanks. Thanks. There's other ways to do it. Thanks, Dang. Matt. Oh, yeah. I mean, we should apply for a verification. What for are those other ways, Matt? Uh, Libtard01. Um, <laughs> a L for the I. Mm. Mm. I mean, there's other ones, too. We can figure it <laughs> out. I mean, but Sam, people can figure it out. It's like he's not like uh, saying our nuclear really codes on air right now. <gasps> oh, Emma, good job in telling everybody that we have nuclear codes. Well, that's a secret side of the bag, <laughs> I mean, too, now, I guess. It's, it's the football. It's the, oh, well, it's the football whatever. Football. It's, it's at, at the maybe. bottom of the uh, Gowanus Canal. Important. We got one of the nukes here. The, ES, the ESVN football is the, is, the, is the football. Is the football, yeah. <laughs>